Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MonoBlueTron, back again with another episode of 10 Minute Testing. Well, we are squarely in spiral format, and I don't know how long this is going to last, so for the time being, let's just pretend that every deck doesn't have to start with 12 hand traps to even have a shot at competition. Today we're trying out a deck that I had always hoped would be strong, but only really got about two weeks of playability before it was double-crossed by the spies. Uh, everyone knows the magicians are busted, and people have been exploring a perform pal engine in that deck, so in the new Odd Eyes card, came out, I figured I'd complete the trifecta and try out OEM in 2017 as Odd Eyes Perform Pal Magicians. So here's the list. Now you'll notice that there's a bunch of different stuff going on here, as well as about eight or nine different one-ofs. As always, I'll give you a little bit of background about the archetype, a little bit of a discussion about what I hope the deck can do, and as always, the card by card. So firstly, for those of you who don't know, Pendulums, or OEM, or Pepe and Pals, is a deck that resulted from a critical mass of Pendulum monsters that were good enough. There's always been, lurking in the wings, a Pendulum archetype composed of the strongest Pendulum cards with a medium amount of synergy and access to strong Pendulum search cards like Wavering Eyes. In 2015 it was called Pepe and was banned in seconds. In late 2015 it was called Pendulums, and most recently it was called OEM, short for Odd Eyes Mag Specters or Odd Eyes Magicians. Now that most of their cards, save for the now deceased Kieran, are off of the ban list, and they've got a couple new toys to play with, I'd like to take the new guys for a test run in the shell of the already powerful Pendulum Magicians. So this deck aims to use the already powerful Pendulum Magician strategy and supplement it with a fair amount of different cards from both Perform Pals and Odd Eyes' card pools. We're playing a medium-sized Odd Eyes engine, several of the Perform Pals that have already crept their way into some Pendulum builds like Sorcerer, Guitardle, and Lizard Draw, and also some one-ofs that should allow us to access powerful extra deck monsters like Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, things like You Go Golem, and Odd Eyes Dissolver. We're also allowed to play Sky Iris, a fantastic card in any deck aiming to destroy magicians as often as possible. So. With that, let's do the card by card. First are the Odd Eyes. We have three copies of Arc Pendulum Magician, which lets you search a whole bunch of times by popping our next card, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, in our end phase. After that is Perform Pal Skullcrabat Joker, just a just a fantastic card for this archetype. I think it searches every single part of the engine. Next is one Oaf Dragon, the least we can play. Two Wisdom Eye, only playing two because we often can't actually pop it. Next is three Double Iris Magician. The two irises are Pendulums and Odd Eyes, so it fits perfectly. It's also the most powerful of the Magicians and three Violet Poison in order to actually interact with our opponent. After that is three copies of Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer, already a powerful card in Magicians, and the two cards I imagine we'll be getting most often off of that, a one copy of Perform Pal Lizard Draw and one copy of Perform Pal Guitardle. Next are our fun ofs. We have one Odd Eyes Unicorn for more Sky Iris targets, one Dissolver in order to make Wicked Fusions, one You Go Golem to do the same, and one Harmonizing to summon Xyz Dudes. After that are the spells, one copy of Pendulum Fusion for Vortex, two of our Duelist Alliance, which actually searches Pendulum Fusion, plus almost everything else in our deck, two copies of Pendulum Call to set scales easily, two copies of Wavering Eyes to plus to infinity, one Star Pendulum Graph, three Sky Iris, which is good, but not terraforming good, and two time Pendulum Graph as well. Finally, in the extra deck, we've got one copy of Ignister, one Omega, one Supreme Clear Wing, the Utopia Boys, Trapeze Magician, one Supreme King Dark Rebellion, Time Star, Tornado Dragon, Abyss Dweller, Red Eyes Flare, Big Eye, Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, and the two Vortex Dragons. So with that, let's jump into the games. Our first match is up against Bless His Soul, the bravest man on Gideon Ladder playing the new Ojama support. Oh, shouts out to this guy. Um, we've opened pretty well. This looks like a classic uh, Magician's Hand. Maybe we can make some Odd Eyes plays occur as well. We'll start by setting the Iris Magician and the Wisdom Eye, popping the Wisdom Eye for Harmonizing, then use Duelist Alliance for a... Sorcerer will pop those two with Wavering Eyes in order to get ourselves a Skullcrabat Joker, then get Pendulum Graph of Space Time off of that. We'll use Skullcrabat Joker to get the new Odd Eyes card. We will Special Summon the Pendy Sork and the Iris Magician, destroy the two of them for a copy of Guitardle and a copy of Lizard Draw. And what should we draw but a Pendulum Dragon and then a Sky Iris so we can get ourselves the Arc Pendulum and the Pendulum, destroying the Pendulum in End Phase after making Tornado Dragon to get ourselves a second Pendulum off of the Arc Pendulum. We'll go ahead and get ourselves Dissolver with a copy of Space Time Set. Unfortunately, our opponent draws Regeki. We do get to float into a copy of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon because we have the arc on our side of the field, so already kind of paying dividends there. We'll Sky Iris away this uh, normal Pendulum Dragon to get ourselves another one from deck and a copy of Unicorn to our hand. We're going to go ahead and Pendulum Summon a Pendulum Dragon and an Iris, then we will go ahead and pop this copy of Violet Poison in order to do a lot of damage to our opponent, then overlay into a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, effectively locking him out of the game if he decides to do more than one thing. Thankfully, he just surrenders. 
Our second match is up against Dark Magician, and you can see we've drawn pretty well, but unfortunately most of our plays involve using Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer to get ourselves the new Odd Eyes stuff in our Pendulum Zones, and our opponent has opened a little card called Solemn Strike, and they're going first. Thankfully, they have very little else. You can see they're playing Eye of Tamaya, so bricks like this are probably a little bit more common than normal. We'll go ahead and set this Violet Poison. Uh, they'll use Eternal Soul to do uh, basically nothing, just adding a copy of Dark Magic Attack to their hand. We'll use uh, Duelist Alliance to get ourselves a Pendulum Graph of Space Time, because I figure I'm going to have to plus my way out of this game. They unfortunately Solemn Strike, my only play, so I'll set this Time Pendulum Graph, which I think is still fine. Uh, we'll still be able to plus at end step when we destroy their set card, and of course the Eternal Soul with this copy of Purple Poison Magician. That's going to give us a Wisdom Eye and allow us to add another card next turn, as well as one to our Pendulum Zone. So we'll use Wisdom Eye's effect to get ourselves an Oaf Dragon, then Space Time to get a Harmonizing Magician. We'll then destroy the set card just in case, and we'll free up the scale for the Odd Eyes Arc Magician. We'll go ahead and Pendulum Summon to the Violet Poison and the Harm. Then we will go into the one, the only Tornado Dragon, a pretty good card against a deck that keeps trying to resolve Eternal Soul. Our opponent will use Dark Magic Inheritance to get a copy of Dark Magic Curtain to summon a Dark Magician. We'll go ahead and destroy that with Time Graph, but unfortunately they'll just chain Illusion Magic. Um, but thankfully they don't have any other way to get these cards out of their hand, and they concede. Our third match is up against True Draco. <laughs> oh my god. True Draco Aqua Actress? Oh man. I mean, I knew True Draco players were, you know, desperate. I didn't think they were Aqua Actress desperate. I guess it makes sense. There's like a bunch of continuous spells in the archetype, and I guess the monsters plus a little bit. Uh, regardless, going second is going to suck for us, but the Wavering Eyes in our hand should make things okay. They'll start by activating Pot of Duality and getting themselves one of these Aqua Actress continuous spells. They'll then use Set Rotation to get themselves a Diagram, destroy one of the cards in their hand to get the True King Return, then sacrifice the True King Return and a spell for Masterpiece. So we are going to have to chew through an actually good monster. We draw a second Wavering Eyes. We're just trying to bait out the Masterpiece activation here, flipping up the Sky Iris, the Scully Joker. He lets us do everything we want, so we'll go ahead and activate this Wavering Eyes, destroying a Violet Poison Magician and targeting that sucker over there. He's going to chain to destroy the Sky Iris, and I'm pretty happy with that scenario in which we get rid of Masterpiece. We have a second Wavering Eye, so we'll fire that off as well, get ourselves an Iris and a Wisdom Eye, pop the Wisdom Eye for a copy of Oaf Dragon, use Oaf Dragon to put Purple Poison back in our hand, and summon the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and uh, the Purple Poison. We'll then set this copy of uh, Time Pendulum Graph we get off the double iris magician i'm pretty just happy to have that card up with a purple poison on our side of the board thankfully our opponent draws into the one card that really gets him out of the scenario the card of demise they'll activate the true draco heritage we'll use time pendulum craft to destroy that and the monster they've just summoned which should prevent them from activating the masterpiece in their hand and what do you know we win so we're back with the deck. I am mega psyched about this. I know those weren't exactly top tier meta threats, especially right now, but you take what you can get on the Gideon server. This is certainly not the tightest build of the deck either, but I really think it does have legs. The Arc Pendulums do a really good job of plussing you and not leaving you dead to board wipes, although now that the board wipe of choice banishes, that might be a little harder to play around. I love Sky Iris, and honestly, I'll take any excuse to jam it, so watch this space. I'll be working on this deck on my stream over the next couple of days, but preliminary testing has led me to believe we should cut down on the Odd Eyes engine. Something as little as 2-1 might be good enough, especially with the field spell getting us everything we want anyway. I was just really excited to play with the cards and jammed as many as possible. I'd also like a more consistent way to get out Vortex turn 1. How sweet would it be to like set up a board with him and a time pendulum every game? That'd be nuts. Regardless, I'd like to find room for many more consistency boosting cards like those, as well as hand traps to let me survive long enough to make plays. Otherwise, you're kind of set. So that's that. Thanks everyone for sticking with my erratic schedule. Thankfully, I should have some degree of stability now, so this is my plan for the future. Monday and Wednesday are 10 minute testing. Tuesday and Thursday are late night Yu-Gi-Oh! from 10 to midnight Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash monoblutron if you can tear yourselves away from the Yu-Gi-Oh! marathon long enough. If you have an idea for a deck you want to see me play on this show, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, I'll see you Wednesday.